Good afternoon, family. Yes, we're back with another segment of Deb Chanel's 48th World with the Family Affair hosting as well. But again, as you can see in my title, I am saying hello to my family and thank you for stopping by. And I'm giving out some shout outs, shout outs to my beloved YouTube family. Yes, I am going to read off the names, read off some of the responses, and respond back to them. Because that's what I got time to do. Because I do love my family, okay? If y'all can get down there and make them comments, at least I can come and give y'all shout outs, okay? So this is just a shout out video uh, to my day ones, as well as the ones that are coming over that are new to the channel. Hopefully you subscribe. Uh, and for the ones that are just onlookers and they're not really sure, come on over here. What you still waiting for? Okay, we still gonna be talking shit. We still gonna be putting our opinions in only on people that grace up a television screen. Okay, just like you have an opinion about me, I don't ask you to talk about me, but some of y'all still put it out there in the comments anyway, and that's okay because if they're very, you know, distasteful, they get deleted anyway. And sometimes I just enjoy. Them. And just let them stay there for a while. Okay, but it just is what it is. It's just really how I feel each day. All right. But getting into the shout outs, we want to start with none other than P uh, PM Patricia Casey. Yes, my investigator out there. I was showing up and showing out. Okay. Yes, I like Tanya too. Yes, she has to live by her own standards with no regrets. You're, you're absolutely right on that. I'm just old school. And like I told my daughter, we can't have y'all living with me and not getting married anytime soon. And I know we got Mr. Corona and Ms. Virus out there whooping our asses, okay? So we're going to get some time. But I'm really old school. You know, once you get uh, engaged, you know, you had a little time. No, most of the time, you're not living together. But under the circumstances, they were already out there living together in their own apartment. Man, and I just felt uneasy. You know, I wasn't getting no rest. My mom wasn't getting no rest. And then kind of find out my daughter through her fiance was saying she wasn't getting no rest. So it was a situation where since, you know, everything was being shut down, I asked them to come back. You know what I'm saying? In hopes that they, you know, do get married one day. But I'm old school. You got to be married. Okay. You can't cohabitate together. That's just like getting the milk for free. And not doing anything. Not having no access. Man go out there and die. You can't get in there. Because you're just a girlfriend or the fiance. You ain't got any sign in your name. That all his assets are supposed to come to you. Or vice versa. It's just a hot mess. You know. I like security in that way. But anyway. That was just my sidebar. But thank you. P.M. Patricia Kaysen. For always being there. Always showing up and catching up with me from the day-to-day -day videos that I do. Or, hell, you just want to know what I'm doing. And I want to know what you're doing. It's a family affair out there. I keep trying to tell y'all that. Stop hating on me. Love on me. Okay, that's all. We got one from Lady C. Thank you, Lady C, from com for coming by. You expressed something about Lori, Aunt Lori. Aunt Lori, stop fooling with Kenya when she took her dad's family over to her mom's house trying to force her to be on TV and force a confession out on her about her not being a good mom you know that was just my perspective from what you had put down there I totally agree if I had abandoned my daughter let my family raise her whatever and I still act like I didn't give a damn about her whatever no, let me have my space because every day I'm going through some deep-seated issues about you anyway. And you definitely not going to put me on the spot on your TV show that you're representing with some other women and trying to get me to force to tell you why I gave you up. No, nah, that shit ain't going to happen. So, yeah, Kenya does a lot. See, people forget about uh, Twirl, Miss Tornado Twirl, Kenya Moore. They forget about all these actions that she do and they be like want to take up for like well other people come for her but see this is one of the nastiest things that i thought she could even do to a person and a person that actually had her that's why i don't too much care for kenya and her demeanor because i can only go by what i see her do on tv but y'all say it's all for clicks and views and, and dramatization and she really don't act like that i beg to differ 
But this was really one of my pet, pet peeves, other than her definitely intervening or inserting herself into Phage's marriage with Apollo and flirting, you know. That, that was tasteless, too. But, Lady C, thank you for coming by, baby. And hopefully you're one of my subscribers, because I, I like to keep thought-provoking people on my uh, team at all times, okay? Then we got Christine McLean. Uh, yes, Kenya, Nene, and Phaedra all play up to the cameras and damage one another in the process. And sometimes the damages go as far as bringing family into it. And see, that's what I'm saying. You know, we don't come to see the reality show of Real Housewives of Atlanta. We don't come to see good things. You know, we come to see who's fussing with who, why they fussing with them, who done did this, that, you know, that this and that, you know. Mindless drama. But it's supposed to be true. But, uh, yeah, Nene has definitely hit below the belt. Like I said, I understand why she uh, was so angry at Kenya. The baby girl, Brooklyn, got hit in the crossfire. Because that shouldn't have never came out of uh, Nene's mouth about she's having a buffalo. You know, that ain't got nothing to do with her, the child. Just like she wouldn't want Kenya to go in on bread or, uh, uh, what's the other child name? Bryant? Well, I know it's Brent. That's the one with, uh, I that's the one with Greg. Bryson, Bryson. Okay, that's just her older son. You know, if Kenya wanted to say, you know, why your child out there stealing stuff from Walmart and make it a storyline, you know, Nene would be very, uh, belligerent at her, be trying to sue her for defamation of care. It's a whole lot of stuff. So, you know, you, you don't need to involve family members just stay on subject matter stay on who is on the show that you beefing with don't bring no kids don't bring no husbands don't bring no mamas no dads none of that just keep it on the forefront of you all so you know nini apologized was it a true apology i believe it was like i said nini don't really go for people kids you know because when you're in war <laughs> It's sad to say everything is on the table. Everything you probably told that person may come out, you know, in that heated moment. And, you know, it could be like a slipper of the tongue or whatever, but you just be throwing ammo. And usually you're using your mouth to cut people deep and hurt them uh, to the core in a sense because they don't upset you that bad. But is it right? No. Is it drama feel? Yes. But none of them, uh, I don't advocate for that kind of stuff. Whatever it was told, and that's why I tell people all the time, even in my personal life, don't tell nothing. Don't tell me hell. Keep it between you and the Lord, especially if it's something deep and it may uh, do something with my spirit where I can't hold on to it. You know, I got to tell somebody if it ain't nothing but the mirror and somebody may overhear me. You know what I'm saying? So. If you're doing anything dirty and illegal, keep it between you and the Lord. That's where it's most safe at. But in times, you know, everything done in the dark will come to light. Uh, but thank you for com coming by, Christine McNe McLean. Thank you for coming by, girl. Uh, Libra Soul. Haven't seen you here before. So if you like what you see, continue to watch and subscribe and be a part of the family for affair. Keep putting your comments down. And you know I will definitely come and read them. Uh, and if they're funny as crap, you know I'm going to shout you out. But Tanya is a very pretty woman and I love her personality as well. And her talk and her voice, it could be a little bit much. But I know she comes from a good place and sh she just, you know, that's just the way her her tone of her voice her audio is built so if you like her you love her you got to put up with all her flaws but uh yeah she just miss sunshine all day long <laughs> and that's a good way to be very good way to be very good person to mimic in that way uh marisol Mar well thank you for coming by uh libra soul and don't make this your first trip I always stay in the comments and like i said definitely subscribe to the channel if you think anybody else would like me if you do like what i bring to the channel share my videos okay tell everybody about me now we're moving on to marisol 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 i tell you true <laughs> i'll let you go on with some of your conspiracy theories especially that brandon one but and, and baby brooklyn but you know i got to love you got to love you honey but I want to say, yes, love. They seem to be happy just the way they are. However, you don't think that Tanya don't want to be Mrs. Judd? 
that's what I'm saying. She seems like a very nice lady. She done gave the man the milk and and the cream too. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm like, is it more so of him not wanting to get married? Then I'm like, I'm agreeing with you, Marisol, but then I'm not agreeing with you. Because if she's just holding on to that man and let him make all the decisions and stuff, that's wrong. She need to hold on and get out and get with somebody that's ready to marry her or marry her at a time frame that she deem is respectful enough. And go and have babies and live your life. Because I, I can see her as a mom. Um, definitely. No problem. Uh, and start a family because... You're definitely not getting older. I mean, you're nef- definitely not going back and getting younger. But if it's something that she feels. Because uh, to, to me, when they are together, I can see the love in them. But I can see the hesitancy that she wants to be more than what she's letting on. And that's more so his wife. Uh, she don't want to be his trophy anymore. Because she definitely got the looks and the brains and the compassion. And she don't look like she will keep him from doing anything that he wanted to attain with or without her she would let him go and do it you know but she's like i'm still here in your corner uh i'm your ride or die and it just seems to me he's just stringing her along a little bit longer than necessary but um I just think he's treating her as a highly saluted girlfriend, even though she's a fiance in a sense. You ain't got a ring on your finger as a marriage band, as a symbol. You ain't married. Then what can he offer you unless he's going to already put you in a wheel? He's going to say he's leaving you this, that, and the third. And then you're cool. I guess you don't have to be married. And you don't have to be like me and just uh, look at it from a biblical standpoint. But, I mean, that's just how I was raised. And I was comfortable being raised like that. Because I definitely had time to change my ways after I turned 21. I can do what I want to do. Practice whatever religion I wanted to. But I still found to stay in the Baptist uh, Christian faith. So... I see where you're going, Marissa. I see where you're going, okay? And then I do think Mama Joyce is too old. Yes, Lord. She's too old to be cutting up on this screen, okay? One fight for one put hands on folks. See, you know, she don't live her life. And she ain't, she can't do a lot of talking. It just seems like she got to pounce on people to get them to understand what she's trying to say. Since they act like they can't hear. See, that's about like me. But I, I ain't going to come after you like Mama Joyce. You know, I ain't going to act shade. I might get you told here and there in a nice way. But I ain't going to come off in front of camera because I know it's going to make me look stupid. And they're going to take, they're going to edit the best versions of me looking stupid and air them. And they're going to cut and splice and, and, and show you what, what it will. Because it may not even put, the scenes may not even have flowed that way. But they're going to make it flow that way for good drama. You see what I'm saying? So you may have said the information. But you may have not said it at that particular point. How they set the uh, visuals to line up with the vis- the audio. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah. But I do, I mean, to me, um, Bertha... And on the horror, they handle this up a little bit better uh, than Mama Joy. Because Mama Joy finna go ham on folks. So, if they want to give us that, if Candy want to continue selling her soul and pimp out her family members. And I'm hopefully, hopefully she she is giving them checks. Because ain't nowhere in the world you're going to let me film with you. And you know I'm good for entertainment. And you ain't going to cut me a piece of that pie. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a large slice. You're going to have me hooked up with like that old LG game. Thinking you're going to, yeah, you don't use my, my face. You don't use my recipes and all like that and then you want me to get up there and, and showcase a cooking lesson here and there hell no nah. you don't screw me up with olg you know what i'm saying and i'm i'm in retirement you trying to bring me out slightly no nah, give me my money under the table okay i ain't gonna file nothing that's how i be looking at candy but like i said pay your folks candy if you finna pimp them out for these dollars and this revenue you finna get sign some contracts on, on Nova. Or make your own contract. Go to your lawyer shit. And, and make Candy sign and pay y'all. Because she get money. Why shouldn't y'all get money? Hell. That's just how I see it. Meryl saw. That's just how I see it. Then we want to say hey to Zanetta. Mac, McLeod. Or McLeod. I think it's Mac. Well it might be McLeod. Okay. Do you. We. Really want to see Eva. Carry babies all the time. Why not show us her giving birth? You know, and I just that was my request answer back to you, Zanetta. Because I mean, yeah, it is Eva's um willingness if that's all she wanna show us. 
is her building her family and this that and the third then oh okay okay but it, it, it's uh uh no the ratings aren't gonna prevail well in her favor you know what i'm saying she can't just come and say or put dirt and talk shit to other women you know behind other women's back and just because she full-blown pregnant we just motherly instinct we don't want to get you together you know what i'm saying we want to wait till you don't drop the load so we don't put no added stress on you on how we come to you when we finna size you up you see what i'm saying see people like me i can't go in fully if you're some kind of disabled in some way I'm not going to come full steam at you because I'm going to give you, you know, the courtesy that you are pregnant. And I don't really want to upset your pregnancy or whatnot or make you go in labor with what I'm going to do to you. And at the time it's verbal. I'm not going to put my hands on you, okay? But I just don't see anybody really want to see Eva do what she's been doing for the last two seasons you see what i'm saying so i kind of disagree with you but i agree respectfully to agree to acknowledge your um statement or comment back in the section but i just don't agree with it okay but i love you uh in god's eyes uh i should say um and zanetta thank you for coming by putting your comments down you definitely have a right to express yourself and you did it respectfully so i appreciate that uh, if you haven't become a uh, subscriber on the channel, please do so. We'd love to have you over here. We'd love to see your dialogue amongst other family members. Okay, Valerie Smith. Hey, girl, what you doing? You, my girl, when did Kenya become so very secretive about things that matter to us? You're right. She was quick to um, show us her ring. She was quick to leak her wedding photos okay on the beach she was quick to tell us about using ivf treatment to attain pregnancy uh she posted herself in the hospital when she was uh suffering with preeclampsia that mean her blood pressure got too high and they had to decide whether they're going to deliver the baby or definitely get her blood pressure under control where she can definitely uh, deliver the baby safely okay because you know giving birth is a 50 50 chance you know that's just i salute all women okay because sometimes you die in childbirth so kenya was right she was a little bit dramafied over it but you know like she is the only person that can suffer from preeclampsia and no okay it's been other women as well some women end up dying uh but yes uh you didn't die it was a horrible experience but you got your prize which was baby girl brooklyn okay uh and you never stop posting baby girl brooklyn so i definitely agree with you rather than smell if it was true a true effect of marriage she would have been posting that shit okay and she would have been shedding these women down on real housewives of Atlanta when they would question whether she was married and especially these vloggers out here that are definitely four or five times higher and bigger in their platform than mine is and if they couldn't find it they don't exist and you, you think you don't think Kenya would have took the chance the time to shut down the vloggers especially the ones in Atlanta shit that's why there's no marriage i don't care what y'all say what y'all try to tell me in them comments and just then the third that's why she can't get no divorce that's why she ain't seeking no divorce attorney because she don't have a marriage to present to them okay that's why she ran to the estate of planner because she got money so she wanted to just make sure uh mark hands don't get a hold to it okay and put it on his other children so she ain't never met the um uh, mother and father of, of mark she ain't damn met his kids either you see what i'm saying so yes that's what she's trying to secure that his rusty hands don't get on him okay i'm just saying but thank you for coming by valerie smith if you haven't uh joined the family affair please do so okay and i look for uh interacting with you in the future we got Kristen, uh Krishan battle yes honey welcome for coming over but yes mark was paid and bought for and kenya wanted uh more to their storyline that mark was not able or willing to give to her that's my pun intended to your uh comment you made in the um comment section regarding one of the videos i did yes honey mark was like nah this is not what i signed up for this is not the longevity type situation or, or situation you put me in i know i don't want no more money i'm gonna get out of the situation amicably and, and, and we go our separate ways. Stop trying to pull and 
push and, and give me more money for the storyline because it's just not going to work. Okay, somebody's going to figure it out and then it's going to be egg on both our faces making our credibility shot in the consumer's eyes. So, yeah, that's what's going on. I feel, Krishan. Uh, then we got Jacqueline. Uh, Aline, 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 or something like that. I'm sorry, Jacqueline, if I'm tearing up your last name, baby girl. But I agree with your comment to a certain degree now. However, look at it from this way. If you had a successful daughter in the industry and she bought home a Todd Tucker lookalike, not necessarily, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, facially, or, um, visually but she brought home his type okay just uh keep that in mind view that for me would you let peace be still would you like okay ain't got nothing to say i'm gonna let this situation work itself out now this is a daughter that you don't raise to be self-sufficient independent and stack up some money you know what i'm saying so she don't have to work hard and she don't have to do things hard like I'm, like you know, per se, her mother had to do to get her where she at today. Okay, um, or would you look at him as an opportunist, especially when he, um, he, you know, he basically wants to reap the financial rewards or whatever can that we give him, whether she's renting it, leasing it, buying it, whatever. But then in that same tone, you know he don't like to give his biological daughter anything that he had with another woman. He wants her to survive on her own. And if he had to do something for her, it had to be an emergency type situation. You see where I'm going? Would you really want somebody like that as your son-in-law? Now, you know you wouldn't, girl. You know you wouldn't. But I respect your opinions and I respect your comment. Okay? So, Jacqueline, you come back anytime you feel like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Okay, thank you. We got uh, You Know Who. Thank you for coming by. You really think it's fake news? You could see them with a talk show and not a sitcom? And I got to thinking about that. You Know Who. You're right. I probably will have Nene and um uh, tamar do a talk show a girlfriend talk show first because like i said they two people that like limelight they wouldn't last through a sitcom you're right i can't agree with you on that thank you for coming by if you haven't subscribed please do so then we got um uh, is it dominique spelled very uniquely uh d-a-m-i-n-y-c-k Francisco okay maybe I got that last name wrong but anyway thank you for stopping by and putting your two cents in and uh, marriage public public or private debate basically I'm saying that to say this yeah you can have that option whether you want to have your marriage license sealed from the public or you want to just keep it as it is my whole thing is okay when you change your name to your married name, you got to have all these uh, documents ready. They would want to see a marriage license, okay? And that it was notifi notarized and filed in the court system, all right? Before they want to change anything, such as your social security number, your driver's license, and deed on your home. If you plan on changing your name, you know, and all that stuff. They want to see that. They want true information. That's why. I really feel that no, uh-uh, King ain't married, King ain't married, okay? Because you got to have legal documentation showing that a marriage actually took place. The only way you can do that to get those credentials, especially a passport and a driver's license, shit. And you want your name to be shown as Mrs. Uh, Kenya Moore Daly or Ken Kenya Daly? No, baby. You're going to need that marriage license to show proof that you are who you are, who you say you are now. Okay? So, that's all I'm saying, Dominique. Then we got Sunshine Valley. Hey, girl. Where you been? Where you been? But thank you for coming back in. Okay? Yes. Um... I want you to stay on that lockdown, girl. I want you to do your due diligence. Don't go around people you ain't got to. Go into that grocery store. Buy what you ever got to buy. Make sure you make a list prior to going out. Go to that job if you're still working. You know, isolate yourself as much as you can. Because they don't have a cure, people. They don't have a cure. Then they're talking about, I read an article. And um, 
I think New York Times or something. Don't quote me on that. But they were talking about it was a resurgence of the coronavirus in South Korea. Meaning they had it. Now they got it again. But see, they ain't saying that on these local television stations now, are they? See, that is my concern. If you're not testing everybody at one specific time. Because we can have a ghost town out there. We damn sure can. Because they got everything else working by robotic stuff. that cut your stuff off when they get ready. You know, from a switch at somewhere else and your lights go out they, they come they can do the gas remotely as well cable snap you know it's off you ain't pay the bill it's to see what it is you come home and have a surprise all right and not a nice one but you have a surprise we can shut down yes we can uh simultaneously for two weeks to make sure everybody's been tested you know we got to do it by community and community you see what i'm saying but we can do this and we can stay uh quarantined because nothing has to be nothing you know what i'm saying we ain't got to do nothing we ain't got to have nothing but food in our house and our utilities working while we go through this testing phase and this quarantine for everybody not some people you know what i'm saying because that was my whole fear that if some people were left not being tested they're just asymptomatic more than likely and haven't really gotten their immune systems down to mm. where they can mm. be very susceptible to catching the virus but you don't let certain people stay at home due to their jobs not being deemed as essential they don't got recuperated they're fine but then for the ones that didn't have it, but they are asymptomatic, they bring it back to us. And then, you know what, they get reinfected again and we still are infected. It don't make sense. It don't make sense. So until you feel or I should say I feel that everybody can get tested in their house from the dogs all the way up to the last family member in the house, we're going to always... Um, we're going to always be infected. That's just how I feel, okay? And it's really going to show when our immune systems get low, whether it's this summer, this spring, or we going back in the fall era. But anyway, I'm sorry to hear about your uncle dying of the corona, baby. Um, there's no words I can express, but I'll keep you in prayer and family affair. Sunshine Valley's uh, uncle passed away. She didn't say when he did. I don't know if it was just recent, like in the last couple of days or the last couple of weeks. And um, she's drinking some vodka. She didn't say she was drinking vodka with a lot of chase. So we don't want you to get numb over there. Because death is expected for every last one of us. We just didn't expect to go out in a pandemic type situation. And I don't know if your uncle knew he had the corona or it just snuck up on him. You know, like it's going to do the rest of us because nobody's testing us. So we don't really know. Um, but I can say my prayers will go to you. Uh, as they always have, I always ask for the Lord to um, take care of my YouTube family. I didn't really say individually all the time unless, you know, I just ran across something and it hit my heart to pray for them individually. I pray for you all individually. But um, we need to keep all of our family members as well as biological and our YouTube family members and friends in prayer at this time. Because I feel it's going to be a lot more deaths that's going to come because... For one, the CEO prayers we got up there. Mm -mm. I, I hate to even see him come on the screen. And when he has taken two minutes of my time, he ain't saying stuff. I, I turn off. And I just start looking at CNN because I know they're going to capture the replay. And they're going to make their own perspectives on what they said from a journalistic point of view. Okay. Not being biased of, of any form. But then sometimes I find them being biased uh, when they're relating to what he's saying. And there's no found evidence of what in the hell he's talking about okay but um my prayers go out to you uh sunshine valley no you got love over here Deb chanel's 40th world nobody told you they love you today in god's way i do love you okay do love you from christ teachings uh and it could not and then you may be pronouncing it Gannett or Gant. But I like Gannett better. It makes it sound so French or something like that, girl. But I agree with you um, about Fei Fei. 
coming back even must go I, I definitely get you know i if she can come with something better than her storyline being her having a pregnancy going on then i can probably get with her back I, I cannot get with her right now i, I don't want to see it just keep her office as little as we kind of saw her then on season 12 that needs to be the same way i tell you my brother I always call me when i'm taping uh-huh hey, huh i'm gonna come get your thing why? It's about 200 bees. Don't make a mess on the tree. All right, just long as you don't break my saw. Are you going to break me out some no. money? I'm going to send you a picture. I'm telling you. Let's say it's a picture tree in the front yard. All right, just long as you don't break my saw. Now, it's just one little small bee, but I'm going to show you. I'm going to send you a picture of the kids having the bees on now. Okay. All right, I'm going to send you in a minute. Mm, bye. All right. Oh, cause my brother, he be breaking shit. You know, I'm like, oh, and I just got that saw. That's the one that I had fell off the ladder with. And I'm, you know, I'm still want about to touch my stuff. You know what I'm saying? I, I can buy it for my, my stuff at, up here in my house. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be taking shit. I get on my nerve. Oh, but anyway, yeah, that's my brother. Okay, anyway, going back to Anna Gannat. Um, yeah, I feel the same way. I don't want to see evil. Uh, damn sure I don't want to see Claudia. Claudia, Claudia and Eva about the same uh have the same demeanor and personality you know it's all about them just that but I, I just don't be want to be bothered okay i really don't but if i can because they could have kept shamari and, and got rid of eva you know what i'm saying i, I found shamari a little bit more entertaining then her husband is hooked up with new edition if anybody was a new edition fan back in the 90s girl please i would love to see them shoot get them some more exposure as well but anyway i, I just don't like the storyline i'm 100 percent with you on that animal uh and then you know reason why i feel they keep candy around because i like i said i'm a conspiracy theorist on certain things and i really think she's hooked up with um the illuminati i really do um especially cynthia and that's probably why they're keeping her because she's trying to make a storyline of uh her daughter noel being fluid and i really think it's a storyline i mean she could have dipped and dashed but i I just really don't think that's how she's going. But only time would tell that. Okay, but thank you for stopping by as always, Miss Anna. Uh, and my deceased aunt was named Anna, and I really loved her. Yeah, girl, so Anna, yeah, you got you found a, a special place in my heart, baby. Uh, through way of my deceased aunt. But Lord, he go again. What? You I ain't seeing yet because I'm taping. Mm -hmm. okay. I get to it. Hell. Right. Bye. Okay, then we got uh Esther Ferris. Thank you for stopping by, baby. No one's watching Kim Zosiak's show. Boring, huh? Yeah, it is boring, girl. It, it, it is. I caught a few segments and I was like, okay. People want to pay to see that. All right, fine. So be it. <sighs> and Kenya will probably be the same way if she ain't got her aunts acting a fool over there either and getting in Todd's ass. Because what can they bring us other than shading Todd? Pretty much, you know. But anyway, thank you, girl, for stopping by, Miss Ferris. Then we got Terry Fowler. Okay. I really think Tanya gets under Kenya's uh, skin, Terry. What do you think about that? I mean, she just gets so upset when she sees Tanya come into. You know how she say Nene gets so upset when she when Nene sees her come into play or her come into the environment that they're in, the space that they're having have to cohabitate together in. I, I feel the same way that Kenya is bothered by tanya and she should be because tanya is definitely a very very educated woman she has her own tech business girlfriend is a registered nurse okay the only hire she can go as a, a nurse practitioner for you know what i'm saying <laughs> shit okay that girl got it going on and then she's on the real housewives of atlanta could you say ka ching ka ching ka ching okay Woo, and then she command uh, the producers to film whatever she don't want them to film. And Kenya Moore doesn't have that pool right now. Okay. So I could see Kenya being threatened by Tanya Moore. But Tanya Moore just have a little bit more class to her now. I don't know if she's going to stay this way. But I just don't see. It's her personality that eludes from her. It doesn't seem like she would ever get ratchet. 
or, or, or be ratchet with Kenya because she knows she has to definitely display herself because she's being displayed on Real Housewives of Atlanta, which is a platform that anybody that could be like, you know, bored and, you know, they heard so much about the drama that Real Housewives of Atlanta bring, they may come across an episode where Tanya is not looking very sellable for their products you know what i'm saying she may be conducting herself in the worst possible way and they don't want to put that image to their uh brand you see what i'm saying so tanya is definitely definitely okay winning but this is my sidebar terry um you think paul judd is bisexual too I, i'm see i'm glad i have a man's perspective on that uh and like i said it's not if that's where he go that's where he go i have you know mm. It's, do you boo is basically what I'm going to say. But I, I want to do uh, Tanya know that. Or uh, sense that in any way. Um, I think uh, Tanya and Kenya would be a very good match. Because Tanya always brings the worst side of Kenya. And Kenya just has all this vulgarity for her. You know like she was calling her a cunt. And this that and the third. Oh it's just a hot mess. You know what I'm saying. But I'm like yeah. Kenya's bothered by Tanya. Whether people want to believe it or not. And you're right, Kenya can definitely have anybody who she wants to financially support um, Baby Brooklyn. I have no uh, no say or no disagreement in that way. So uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by, Mr. Terry Fowler. If you have not, and I say it, if you have not subscribed, you need to subscribe, brother. But anyway, thank you anyway for coming over. We got Juliet Alfred. So you think Brooklyn... Looks more like Kenya's dad's side of the family. I can see that. I can see that. Thank you for stopping by, babe. Rexy H. Yes. That is what I try to do daily to people. And that's to put a smile on people's faces. You know, with my laughter and whatever. My comedy or my commentary I give you all. Because I'm pretty much the same way that I am with you on, on screen. I am the same way with my family in real life. Okay, but thank you for stopping by. It's her just said, hey girl, hey love. Thank you so much for always coming by and wishing me well as I do you. Uh, love, love you woman. Love you, love you, love you. And and keep them clothes on because I saw one of your videos. You were butt naked. You know, okay, you were butt naked over there. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I know you were fighting with somebody verbally and you had to check them. But put them clothes back on. You might catch a cold, girl. But anyway, uh, Sunny Diller. Hey, girl. I believe just about everyone would get some version of it. Meaning you were expressing yourself about the coronavirus. And that you were sick. And you fell in February. Um, I think it's 13th you said. Hey, that was before. One day before Valentine's Day. That it was an upsurge with a lot of people, you know, being sick around that time. So, it might be true. Uh, and everybody can be asymptomatic as well. Weird, strange, scary times and very uncertainty uh, times we're living in and embarking in. Because I don't really think things that we once knew and loved and we were partaking of, I don't think that's going to be in our future, in our near future. It's going to be a new world order. And if anybody don't understand what I'm talking about there, Google it, okay? Um, but def definitely isolate yourself if you start to feel you know, feverish and anything of that nature. Uh, and definitely get you a, a thermometer and check your um, temperature when you're not feeling as well as you think you should be. Okay. Thank you for coming by, Sonny Dilla. Be blessed, girl. Then we got Sandrance. My favorite avatar pick. Pikachu. I love they make, it make a smile come to my face every time I see the damn uh, avatar and you showing up on the scene. But, um... Miss Laura ain't with you, right? Miss Laura ain't with that uh, family mess. She, mm -mm, you, you better pick and choose who you want on camera. We're going to tell you what we're going to give you so you can decide whether we need to be on your show or not. But Miss mm -mm, Laura didn't like Kenya coming from her, for her sister in no shape, form, or fashion. And how Kenya did it, yeah, she needed to be shut down. So I agree with you. Uh, Sandra, see you next time, baby. Got some ready. Hey, love. I see you over there collaborating. And I want you to uh, show me how to do that. Um, well, I'll talk to you about it. But thank you for stopping by. It was a good show over there with you uh, having someone uh, that was seasoned uh, 
and y'all are explaining the products of Unique's products. So, yeah, once I get back into makeup and, and wanting to make up my face and feel so girly, girly, or womanly like, uh, I will. <laughs> <laughs> I guess because I don't have a man too But then most of my boyfriends in the past They liked me with no makeup anyway So it just is what it is Okay And hey Tom Hey love Thank you for always stopping by Thank you Say Grace Hey Love you too um, Lady G Yep King is in the wind Twirling nowhere Going nowhere Have no storyline And that's why she's still twirling Like a tsunami Like in the ocean It's just going on and on and on and on and on But it ain't moving You see what I'm saying It's more making up a hurricane Is what's going on And when it's time for her to unleash She just spew venom everywhere um, but thank you, Lady G, for coming by as always. Then we got She Love. Hey, Love. And yes, she does have her child. She just needs to stop with the marriage, divorce, storyline period. Because ain't nobody buying it. Even her twirlers are having a hard time. I do believe buying the story. Because it just has leaks here and there. Okay, it's a leak in that old building of Kenya's. All right. And she got to move. All right. But anyway, Spices, her. Yes, you are never... Yes, you never can play dirty. And yes, Kenya has been extremely nasty to the other women, especially Tanya Sam. Because she ain't have no business bringing that cookie lady on the scene. Okay, and then they tore her ass up in social media and was creating all this buzz or negative buzz towards her cookie show. But Kenya didn't come over there and explain nothing. You know, not in public. So that's why I said, watch who, who if you got to side yourself with Kenya... Always be two and three steps ahead of Kenya. Because Kenya going to throw you under the bus every time. So I didn't really feel uh, bad for the cookie lady. Because she shouldn't have been in there. Anything she should have met Tanya at. You know maybe an event. And, and did it that way. Without Kenya being exploiting anything. But she didn't do it that way. She got her 10 minutes of fame on TV. And we see where they got her. Okay. Um, but thank you for coming by. Putting those comments in. Uh, Eugenia Washington. Hey, babe. Yes, some people believe everything about their favorite TV personality and will not call them out when they know they're wrong. Even a half blind man can see that that wasn't all of Kenya Moore's hair. But people going to sit up there and tell that, you know, she grew all that long hair and this, that, and the third, and all this big, thick hair that comes around. Knowing Kenya Moore hair ain't that big and thick. But, you know, they're going to believe what they want to believe. They're going to believe what they want to believe. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make the a horse drink. Now, can you? But thank you for coming by. Um, Cammy, Cammy. Kenya tries to act like Mark is the big time moving shaker. And he travels the world that's what she got in her mind that she feels mark <laughs> is like he riding on a private jet whining and dying of her he don't answer the number and he barks the orders out to people but then I, I don't know what i was seeing on something somebody did a story on mark and his urban restaurant in new york and stuff and uh the gentr gentrification that's going around in the area where he has it but they did not have mark in this interview, they had some, uh, the chef Mark's supposed to have there and a co-owner of Soko. And see, I thought Soko was totally Mark's baby. But it seems like, no, he has partners in that business. So, that's weird. And why Kenya is not saying that. She should say he has a partnership with a building called Soko that he owns with some more influential business savvy people that's what she could have said but she was letting us know that that was mark restaurant and she wants him to have a, a soco two and this that and the third when it seems like he can barely keep up with soco one but that's just me that's just my feelings about it but maybe when i have time i will research that but right now i don't give a shit but anyway uh jalea white um, Todd is just not being a man. Todd needs to get from under Candace's shadow, do and make his own money, his own way, and revenue to take care of him and his family. Okay, Todd is jealous of his own wife in his own way. He calls Candy uh, selfish, but then in the fact, he's really the selfish one. Now, this is how I view it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can have a perspective on Todd, but Todd don't want, I mean, if his mom was still living, she would not put up uh, with how Todd is running his life. She would not do it. Uh, and he should take that uh, to heart. And think about what his mama would probably say. 
about him at this point in time. She damn sure wouldn't like Candy taking care of him. You know what I'm saying? And the things that she's hearing in the news. Child, her and Mama Joe probably don't put hands on each other. And both of them up there in jail. <laughs> Child, but anyway. And they probably really wouldn't be married. Because Candy love her mama. And she love, Todd love his mama. And between the mamas tearing up shit. They, they would probably be divorced by now. Um, but moving on. Thank you for stopping by. Putting your comments down, baby. Hello, Shade Tree B. Hey, girl. I'm glad you had fun over at Michelle's platform, uh, the ATLN. I do enjoy her content always when I go over and watch sometimes. Um, yeah, she's a very, um, definitely a wonderful blogger that tells it in her own perspective though she do get a lot of heat which i don't understand why but uh continue to definitely come over and see me and hopefully you subscribe to me as well but yeah i do enjoy michelle's platform at times okay uh pamela pamela nichols thank you for stopping by again hey love and you too be safe and careful as well keep your immune system up uh so things won't break it down so just the corona because they ain't corona ain't fooling they sales out there okay people trying to think they got them wrapped up corona got that shit sold up out there so be careful be careful I always try to eat right do right be right mentally physically and um what is it mental physical i don't forgot the other one y'all help me out mentally physical Shit, I don't know what the other one is. Spiritually? Okay. But anyway, be all three of those. Uh, and I agree, Nene doesn't go in on Wendy Williams like she do Kenya. Yes, she got a lot of smoke for Kenya. But when it comes to Wendy Williams, dogging her out, saying her show went, was nothing but a slumming or slummer or slum show. I would have been all up in Wendy Williams' ass. But, you know, evidently, it's a game they playing. Or maybe she don't want to ruffle tides uh, with uh Wendy, in case she need her for the future. Who knows? Uh, but anyway, thank you for stopping by, lady. I'll talk to you soon. But stay in them comments, okay? We got Juliet Amon. Uh, amen. Uh, amen. Yes, I'm with you on Kenya. Never married. We should have bring Phaedra back. We should bring Phaedra back. Evil should go. Definitely. Cynthia um, is being used, I feel. However, Cynthia is using... Uh, her daughter Noelle's fluidy uh, storyline as her storyline. Uh, Candy hopefully will go permanently. Uh, Andy will hopefully give her her own show. And she can manage just like Kim over there. Fighting for her livelihood. But it's her family show. Hopefully she can keep it. And it be um, prosperous for her. I just don't think uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Is, is, it never fitted her from the beginning. But you know. She deserves to have her own spinoff and see what she can do. So she can move on to other endeavors and we can get some new blood in here. Uh, I don't like Candy. I, you know, I don't want to take or uh, speak bad on anybody losing their job. But, you know, everybody do have a time frame. It's either continue to grow or be stagnant. And right now she's just being stagnant. I know it's a uh, platform she's on. But think about it. You can have all that money by yourself by hosting your own show. Wouldn't you like that better? And maybe that's something Andy Cohen is looking into and trying to make it into fruition so he can bring Phaedra back. So that would be very, very interesting. And maybe let Candy come on, do cameo visits and stuff. Be the friend of somebody. I guess Kenya. I don't know. But that would be very interesting to see how that turns out. Um, hold on. Let me see. Now that's about it I really had to say about that, Juliet. But thank you for stopping by. Hopefully, uh, you enjoyed the content. You subscribe to the channel and you will be back. Okay. Uh, Carla Pelly, thank you for stopping by. And yes, Wendy is a liar and she is full of shit. Okay. Hey, Miss Hollywood. Glad to see you down there. Glad to see you down there commenting. Then thank you, Beatrice Holland, for coming by. Yes, please yourself when you're in a relationship and your mate. But I don't know. I just want the license. That's how I feel about being married. I want the marriage license. I want to be able to hang it up on the wall. I want to be able to go by and say, yes, I am Mrs. So-and-so. 
you know, and just feel all that joy. And hell, if it didn't work, I want my divorce to agree so I can get my shit back in my own main name and this, that, and the third. And the only way I can do that is to be able to show that divorce decree. Just like Kenya Moore couldn't make any changes to her last name on special documents like passports, um, driver's licenses, and any other like on her house if she owns her house and she want to just change it to her marriage name she has to show proof of a marriage license so you can't be going around here sealing up shit and not want nobody to know when you you know you need that evidence to be able to um change these things of what i just said that needs to be changed if you want to be known as that person that new person so uh, i don't know I don't know, because she ain't going to be able to tie up no loose ends without that information, that documentation. But thank you, baby, for stopping by. Uh, Leslie Barber, my one day one. Yes, Phaedra was pregnant every season. However, now, Phaedra still brought the drama. She brought the shade. She brought those southern reeds with her. Uh, she was drama filled and over the top as well. Uh, she was just shady and funny in her southern way. Now, I don't agree of all what she did, especially when it came to uh, Candy and Porsche. I think she totally manipulated that, manipulated that situation and really believed in what Carlos King was telling her at the time as truth when actuality was false. But both of them got let go so it is what it is but it's like okay when do we stop blaming somebody after they don't serve their time so that's my only deal of uh she needs to come back and candy needs to go if she don't feel comfortable being on that platform with her and that's like an olive branch that bravo can give her but you know she can't hold keep holding shit in bravo's face either because they're gonna turn on her and she tried to get all her lawyers to fight their big ass lawyers and see what she turns out. Uh, but anyway, thank you for coming by, baby. And we got Doreen Rose. Hey, girl. Glad to see you in the comment section. Leah Thomas. Good morning, girl. Uh, more ghetto crap, you said. Yep. Yep. Any race or ethnicity, ethnicity can be ghetto. <laughs> but yeah, it's more ghetto shit still happening on this damn show. Oh, I agree with you on that. Marie Perry, Maria, Marie, Pierre. Uh, you don't believe Nene needs her own show. Hmm. Talk show or sitcom. Hmm. You think Nene is a devil? Well, include Kenya. Include Candy. Include Kenya. I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, Kenya, Candy, and Eva. And then include Marlo. Because those are the main shit store. Star, well, shit store and starters on the show in my perspective hello margaret carol thank you for stopping by nini is a backpedaler and she's much so worse than eva but they you know hey if you're in the pot of suit still stirring her shit you just have to be in there all together but i agree with you desiree cruz thank you for stopping by uh yes auntie Lori of uh age that be that could be a con contributing factor why Kenya did not select her as being the guardian of the financial portfolio of uh, Baby Brooklyn, which okay I I thought it was just she's supposed to watch over Baby Brooklyn's money like you know be the um what do you call that it's not the uh, power of attorney it's something guardianship holder. Because, you know, Mark, if anything happened to her, he is legally responsible for his daughter because he's the other parent. So, I don't know. I don't know about that situation. Still, I'm still thrown up in the air with that one. Um, but I definitely thank you for coming by and stopping dialoguing with me and talking about it. And then lastly, we got Jerry Hendrickson. Yep, Kenya's gone with the wind nuts. He's a nut job. You got that right. Uh, I would love for Mark to come out and tell it all. But he might forfeit his money that Kenya has already invested in him. Especially when we all know. Or we're presuming that she paid his tax debt. And got him out of forfeit. Or foreclosure. Or tax evasion. Or whatever it was. Uh, with that debt he owed. But, um, mm, I, I, I think he would just basically keep his mouth shut. 
because he wouldn't want to avoid bringing more negative press on his family before he knew Kenya and you know bringing an unlikely um uh, I don't know just like an unlikeliness where it had to bring up his parents being involved and stuff of that nature so I think it would be best for him to keep his mouth shut just go on and phase out <laughs> just like he phased in and just let Kenya be to her own resources of explaining his um abrupt turnabout face in a situation when it comes to um him leaving the marriage of lack thereof I think but yes 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 okay but uh yeah that's all I had for this video. Thank you guys for being wonderful and definitely coming over to my channel. I know it was a long hill. It's almost an hour. <laughs> but hopefully you can take it in small doses because these people deserve to get represented. They always down there in them comments. Uh, Rita Hawkins is another one that's always there. And, and um, you know, enjoying my content. And that's why I do what I do. Um, but y'all enjoy y'all Saturday. And be careful out there when you're going shopping and interacting, especially when you already are, are part of a large crowd than what uh, the state's wanting us to be a part of. And be kind to others, okay? But I'll see y'all next video. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my videos, okay? Thank you, guys. Enjoy your Saturday afternoon. <laughs>